Greetings, I'm Lloyd Kaufman, chairman of the Independent Film and Television Alliance. I regret that I cannot be with you in person today at the wonderful IFTA production conference. You know, when Gene Pruitt and Paul Hertzberg asked me to prepare a short lesson on the problems of media industry consolidation and how important it is for us to preserve net neutrality on the internet, I was so excited. In fact, I was so excited, I prepared a huge scene that was going to be directed by Brett Ratner with amazing explosions and CGI special effects with heads getting crushed and Transformers transforming. But unfortunately, I was made aware of the fact that the budget for this IFTA lesson is only $17.83 minus cab fare. In fact, just off screen, I've got 500 men dressed as New Zealand rifles, ready to enact my famous patented Boer War metaphor. So, looks like you're not getting paid, guys. Anyway, I also found out that IFTA was not going to spring for the seven-foot plasma screen, which I felt was necessary to convey the enormity of the problems that, that we independent producers and distributors face. Instead, I've been limited to this rather small installation, or perhaps you could call it Instaloidion. The problems of media industry consolidation are very, very complicated to the layman. So let me try to uh, explain it in simple terms. Let's say that the internet is my face, pure and unblemished, uh, except for this melanoma here, which I probably should have checked out, and, and of course the herpes. But other than that, the internet is pure and pristine, a palette, empty, just like my sex life. Yes, the internet is currently able to give and receive art, commerce, information from every source all over the world with great diversity from the most important and powerful dictator to the sweaty little fat 14-year-old kid in his basement blogging about the X-Files. Indeed, this cornucopia of information I like to call information juice. Yes, it's so refreshing. It is, oh, not out of my eye, not out of my eye, not out of my eye. Yes, yes, in my eyes, in my eyes, in my eyes. Oh, 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 it's so refreshing. Yes, the freedom of information on the internet that we currently enjoy is delightful. I just love information juice. It is so refreshing. In fact, with a free and open internet, we are experiencing a renaissance of art and creativity. At first, everything seems wonderful on the internet, but then, then comes evil sergeant giant media conglomerate. At first, he seems nice enough. In fact, he gives me Kool-Aid, and I drink the Kool-Aid. Mmm, thank you, media conglomerate. Then what happens? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> ah, 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 ow! God damn it, stop! But before you know it, Sergeant Media Conglomerate has, has launched a sneak attack on my head. The last independent democratic media that exists in the face of the earth. And then, and then the colonization begins. First, a media conglomerate cordons off a MySpace over here. And then another media conglomerate takes over and colonizes a YouTube here. And then all those free porno sites start charging. No, 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 I meant the telephone companies join the media conglomerates and they head to Washington, D.C., where they get the rules changed, where they try to put in their own exclusive super highway just for them. And then they end up controlling the pipes into your home. And you end up with just the same thing as NBC, CBS, ABC, where it's all controlled. Everything is controlled and we no longer have the freedom to explore. And by the way, colonization has never worked. Ask the French. And what does this lead to? Our virtual renaissance becomes a virtual prison of spoon-fed baby food information. And remember folks, it doesn't matter whether you're making high art, low art, Big budget movies, low budget movies, no budget movies. It doesn't matter whether you're using superstars or no stars or Eric Estrada for that matter. We must band together as independent producers and directors and distributors and fight against media industry consolidation and we must fight to preserve net neutrality on a free, open and democratic internet. Yes, let us fight for independent art. Give art back to the people. And another thing, always remember, keep your dignity. 
Well, I gotta go to my daughter's bar mitzvah. Excuse me. Was that serious enough?